What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a video that basically follows up on the previous video that I did which was how to access extra faces in Madden 20. Um, today we have a video discussing a mistake that a lot of people will make that you will probably see on the screen right now if you recognize it uh, that you're not going to want to do if you're a player like me and you want to have player portraits in the game. Uh, so there are a lot of players in this game that have face models that don't necessarily match the actual player. There are some players that are really good like Miles Sanders here matches his face pretty closely um, but if I can remember correctly this is actually the Bengals franchise that were in on my my channel if we look at Jesse Bates for example he has a generic face in the game and I don't really know why they give him this generic face but it doesn't really look like him uh, in my personal opinion I mean they tried to get it as close as possible it doesn't look too bad uh, but what people will do is they'll go in and they'll edit a player like that and what ends up happening if you edit a player that has a player portrait like let's say I go in and edit Gerard Wilson for example for some reason I think that his face model doesn't look quite good uh, if I go in and edit his face model, what's going to end up happening is his portrait is going to get removed from the game. So you have to pay attention uh, to who you're actually editing the face on. So if I just go ahead and save this, his portrait gets removed from the game. And this could happen to you if you try to do it to, to some pretty high profile players. It can happen to anybody that has a portrait in the game. Uh, because there are some good players in this game that don't have accurate face models. I don't know why. I don't know how they pick and choose who gets the face models. I think that it has something to do with the players actually giving the rights to the, the developers to be able to use their likeness. I'm not sure exactly how all of that works. But what I know is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to avoid changing the face of a player that has a portrait because yes I know that there are some bad faces in this game that don't actually match the players and so if you go in and change those players you're going to end up with a generic face model as the portrait for that player now if that's something that doesn't bother you you know, feel free to do it. That's not going to hurt you in any way. But if you're a guy like me and you like having the portraits in the game of all the players that actually have portraits, that could pr be pretty important to you, and you're not going to want to mess that up. Uh, one of the commenters uh, had experienced this firsthand and asked me if there was a way to reverse that, and there is, in fact, no way to actually reverse it if you remove a player's portrait like this. Unfortunately, you're stuck like that in franchise mode. So credit to David Chen. I'm looking at my phone now. David Chen is the one that left the comment for that, so shout out to him. This is a good little tips video for you guys to know. That way you guys don't go ahead and do the same mistake because I had to learn this through trial, trial and error myself and I ended up changing a bunch of players not realizing. I went back through and looked at them and realized, oh wait these guys don't actually have portraits in the game anymore and so it created a problem for me and I was like kind of upset about it because of the fact that I actually care about having the player portraits in the game. Uh, so try to avoid that if that's something that you care about. Like I said you could go to any number of players that have a portrait and change their face model and it will automatically remove their portrait. So hopefully this helps you guys out in some way. Hopefully it prevents you guys from making that mistake like I made. You know, if there's anything that I can do to help you guys out, it is to help you pre help prevent you from making the same mistakes that I make to save you guys the trouble. So if this does help you guys out, if it did potentially save you some trouble, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video, commenting down below with anything else you guys could use help on any other future videos you guys would like to see and we'll try to get those made for you uh, like i said leave that like uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one